Hi, Kevin with New Standard here for our final freedom video. This one, a little different, very important. Freedom from fear and distress. Sounds like an obvious thing, but I guess somebody at some point had to write that down. They define that by saying you ensure conditions and treatment which avoid mental suffering. Now, some may ask, how do you know if a pig is suffering mentally? Uh, it's actually not too hard to tell if you pay attention. It's all in how those animals act. Uh, in our loose housing system, we can walk around and the animals really don't care too much if you're there or not. They're not jumpy, they're not agitated. If that starts to become part of the behavior, if they're going at each other or if they move out of the way of the humans, that's basically a great indication that they've been treated in such a way that they are, they're mentally agitated, they're, they're distressed. Um, from a NEDA perspective, that's, that's actually one of the things that this design is, is designed against as far as when they come in and they want to eat, this whole thing is designed to protect them. The back gate that locks, it doesn't let another animal in. Individual dosing, taking their own time, not having to rush, feeling like they are okay while they eat and fill their bellies. That's, that's key and important to making sure once their food is taken care of for the day, the rest of the problems can be easily solved, whatever else all they might run across in the, in the pen. So forward exit on this design. I can't stress that enough how important that is that when she's done eating, she moves forward out of the system and back into the group. The designs, the equipment that forces an animal to come backwards is, is so against this. That is, that is fear and distress defined, never mind avoided. If you could just picture yourself being in here and when you're done eating this horrible dry mess because you wanted something to drink, but you just had the driest piece of bread possible and you got to back your chair out into an unruly group of people trying to get into the food. That's bad enough in a cafeteria for us humans. Can you imagine a pig trying to back her butt out of here into a group of pigs trying to push her way in to get that little bit of access to feed that they're actually been given? It's a, it's a horrible concept. It's a horrible design. And there is no way anyone could ever tell me that they are keeping them f uh, freedom from fear and distress by putting them in that situation. That's actually forcing them to be distressed on a daily basis, be agitated because it's meal time. I got to go eat, but this is going to be a horrible experience. We make sure, one last pan around here, once we're doing that, we make sure that everything while she's eating, she's calm, she's cool, collected, she comes out, and now she's got all this freedom to go do what she wants for the rest of the day. Hope you guys have enjoyed this set of videos. If you've got any questions about how we at New Standard incorporate these freedoms or can help you with your design, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching.